This video will show you how to measure the apical pulse. The apical pulse is a measure of cardiac function that's completed by placing a stethoscope at the apex of the heart and counting for one minute. You will be gathering your patient's heart rate, or pulse, by listening to the opening and closing of the valves in the heart. You will be utilizing a stethoscope. Wash your hands. Introduce yourself to your patient and verify their identity. Explain the procedure to the patient. Ensure that all of your equipment is clean. Alcohol pads are great for cleaning stethoscopes. Place the stethoscope earpieces in your ears. Place the chest piece of the stethoscope at the apex. The apex of the heart is the tip, but it is formed by the left ventricle, so it is essentially the most inferior portion of the heart. Once you hear clearly the lub-dub sound of the heart beating, you will want to begin to count the beats for a full minute. One lub-dub sound counts as one beat per minute. If you're new to this, a great trick is to focus on the numbers 12, 3, 6, and 9 on your watch or clock in the office. What you'll want to do is start counting at the 3, as you see it just passed over, and focus on the sound and do not focus on staring at your watch or clock on the wall and listen to the sound of the lub dub. Once you feel like you may have reached that 60 second mark, glance at your watch or glance at the clock on the wall and see where your second hand is at. Right now you see it's at the nine, so you know it has not been quite 60 seconds. Once that second hand goes back to the three, you know that will be your answer of beats per minute. This trick will help you keep track at what number you started counting at. Make sure to take your time. If you have to begin over, it is okay. It is best to have an accurate number for your patient and the provider. Practice makes perfect. Once you are done, make sure to clean the earpieces and chest piece of the stethoscope. Document the rate and quality of the heart sounds in the patient's chart. Answer any questions that the patient might have and wash your hands.